Caban went mad with announcing on Friday night. New champions are confirmed for October and looks like arena scores went super darn low. Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and hope you're well. It's been a lovely weekend, I've relaxed a lot of the time and spent some time with family as all good weekends should be done. And without further ado, you're not wasting any more of your time, let's get into the Marvel Contest of Champions news. As you know, it's been a very crazy time. Yes, on Friday, we got a huge announcement that a whole a host of new champions were coming to the game based on the new puzzle. And Kabam have definitely said that by the end of the year or moving into the start of next year, we'll see a 12-month completion of the Fantastic Four event. Seeing the likes of Reed Richards, Doctor Doom and as well Silver Surfer. There is also a further string of announcements like the ones you can see here for the five year anniversary and not to mention the fact that we're going to see Act 6 get done a lot more quickly than we thought. And do bear in mind I'll be at New York Comic Con so I'll be able to give you the latest scoops of ice cream from the game when they're released for everybody to know about. And I am hoping that by the end of the day, I'll be able to do a puzzle video. Thanks to everybody that got in contact. It's been like blowing up socials, like people are getting in contact with me saying, oh, you know, it's about this champion. It's like, wow, thanks everybody. And I'll be sitting down to kind of go through my Twitter, go through like socials and then go, okay, so people have got this idea. And it's like, oh yes, I agree with this. Maybe I don't. And it'd be cool to kind of formulate this. So I am really looking forward to maybe even doing a massive printout and taking it to New York Comic Con and getting other people to kind of go like, okay, well, who do you think is going to be here? And maybe like just like writing down I'm gonna have to find a copy place that maybe we can do like a A3 or maybe like A1 copy print. Uh, so that could be quite fun. But I'll do my video later on. Also, the great thing about October is some characters I'm quite excited about. I think I mispronounced uh, Elsa Bloodstone. I think I called it Eva Bloodstone. I don't know. It's been one of these kind of whirlwind times since getting engaged and like all these kind of family parties and stuff that we've been going to. Uh, my brain is totally scuffed, even thinking about like getting stuff ready for New York Comic Con. Um, it's already a bit scuffed up here in any case, but the fact is, yeah, I think called it Eva Bloodstone. So apologies if I got that wrong. Um, it's Elsa Bloodstone. Elsa Bloodstone. I think a lot of people are quite weirded out by Man Thing being a mystic, but I think there's probably more to explain with this, and I will do in a future video. And then Guillotine 2099. I'm really up for this, and I'll tell you why I'm really up for this. And the idea that we could have something of a 2099 universe, having Punisher 2099. Having a future maybe Spider-Man 2099, having other characters like Gertie 2099 could have this really nice link and have this nice little story arc. So I'll be excited to kind of go to New York Comic Con and find out more details and maybe speak to Gabe and say, look, what's your future plans for this? Are you going to be setting up a 2099 story arc for MCOC? Because like I said, I'll be well up for this. I'm sure a lot of other people would be as well because we don't want to see too many movie versions of Spider-Man suits. We want to see ones like the Iron Spider or the kind of Superior Spider-Man or 2099 kind of appearance rather than anything that's a bit kind of you know out there so set this universe up next up we've got this weird story that came over the weekend and we've had some crazy low scores which we'll get onto in a moment for arena so it looks like not many people were active in arena however though we've had some really weird cutoffs as you can see here these are two different players uh first one there from your lines asr and uh below we've got uh well that's just the M E. it's a load of net letters and it's just a load of letters it's a weird load of letters the fact is let's look at the scores 15 mil at the top and then at the bottom we've got 14 mil now what's weird is the 14 mil got the one percent to ten percent whereas the 15 mil only got 11 percent to 30 percent so what the bloody hell has gone on with this? Well, it gets even worse because even uh, one of the gentlemen from Four Loki has even like put, reported that they've got one percent to ten percent for fourteen mil, and obviously as we can see here, eleven to thirty percent is fifteen. <laughs> What's going on? It's crazy. Well, Command Vidia sees it and says, "We'll get on this, thank you." And then we've got we're working on getting it fixed on our end. No need to raise a ticket. The teams are aware and will be able to correct it once. We have a proper handle on it. Apologies for the inconvenience. It is still very strange. There's been a few things that have been strange happening lately in game. From the uh, boss rush event kind of switching between being in the special tab to then the daily. Uh, and then the talk of that maybe they've got to switch back from the daily to the special. Uh, really weird stuff is happening. If you are thinking that you've experienced any kind of issues, please go to the link in the description uh, and have your say. Even though it's not about raising a ticket, but if you feel that maybe a ticket needs to be raised, then obviously please do so as well. 
Up next, and a little reminder for me, is Marvel Insider. Do bear in mind in the coming weeks when we have New York Comic Con, you will be able to pick up a lot more points. And also for those that are doing any of these events, do make sure that this actually ends on the 2nd of October. So if you are looking to claim your points, make sure to do it now or in the very near future. And now on to our last story, which is a combination between the predictions and also what the heck is going on with the results. Now, from a lot of information I've picked up from the Marvel Contest of Champions True Cost Arena results page where you kind of post your, your stuff and, how, and what you got. And do bear in mind, go back to this page every single day for fresh information from the community. And also, make sure that you're checking out the scores later on. Because some weird stuff is happening. I've seen Cap Infinity will go for 1.7 mil. I've seen a 1.8, I've seen a 2.1, 2.2, 2.5. So I'm like, this is this is really crazy. The arena scores must have gone really low. To a point that you could get a 578 position for a four-star Arcus, which probably means that you're gonna see some stupid low scores between like eight mil for Arcus. It's gonna be weird. Champion doesn't have as much hype, so that's probably the reason why. But the thing that really gets me surprised is something that was posted by one of the uh, Turkish Marvel Contest Champions YouTubers uh, called Magic, who we're gonna look at in a moment. 57 mil was enough to get a 95th position. 95th position for 57 mil. So that is amazing and also a bit scary though because the scores could be really low. I'm talking maybe about like low 40 mils for Arcus, maybe even a bit lower. Yes, my haba and shout out to the Turkish followers, the Turkish watchers and also the Turkish community. If you do want to check out Magi, uh, Magi TV MCOC, then go to the link in the description down below. And then he said it wrong there. Magi TV MCOC. And where does that leave me with arena predictions? Well, my arena predictions are down here at the moment, but I'm going with 2.2 mil for the four star basics, the Cap Infinity War. I'm a bit unsure like how this scoring is going to be represented in round two, whether or not we're going to get a bit of a change with this because people are going to go, oh right, we're so low, I'll get involved now. So I think 2.2 mil, maybe 2.5 for those that are feeling a little bit unsafe, 9.5 for the four star Arcus. Again, I don't think going into round two, he has that sufficient hype from the community to go get him. And then I think 50 mil is going to be acceptable for the five star. Now that again could change. It could be something that we could see a fluctuation, but let's just say I feel that when the final scores come in today, you're gonna to see some surprises. So 50 mil, maybe even pushing to 55 if you wanna feel really safe. But in the three star, I've seen 1.3s go, and I think that 1.3 mil is gonna be fine going into the round two, if you're interested in a three star Arcus. There we have it, that has been the Marvel Contest of Champions News for the 23rd of September, 2019. I'll be able to get to you a Wednesday news, and then Friday's news may be a lot later on, in America and a lot earlier on in the AMs for the UK. I don't know. It just depends on time difference, flying, uh, whether or not I'm completely knackered, those kind of things. But the fact is, look forward to a lot of content over the next couple of weeks. It's going to be mental with all this stuff from New York Comic Con. So do kind of keep locked to the channel because I've got some really cool content coming up. Bye bye for now and have a good one.